what's going on welcome back to my channel um what we are going to be talking about today is the vch piercing i'm going to be letting you guys know my experience what it was like for me um questions that i had and hopefully i can answer any questions that you all have and kind of put your mind at ease about it okay first and foremost before we start please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button so you'll be up to date and you will know whenever i upload some new content like get with me come on y'all get with me now <laughs> but um first and foremost you gotta be 18 to get this done okay if you're not 18 go on, move along click on our channel but um if you are under 18 and you're getting this done um where your mama them or where your daddy them and if you are watching this with your parents and your parent is going to allow you to get this done again quickly click off of here and go get y'all go talk to somebody don't do that don't no this ain't for you baby this ain't for you okay this is for 18 and over really adults period okay but again i'm not gonna get too graphic with it but i'm gonna I'm answer some questions that you probably got in your mind about it okay first and foremost before you even decide that you want to get this done do your research do your research youtube Google, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr. I don't even know if people still do that. Whatever. Do your research. Know exactly what it is that you are going to get done. Know what you're going into. Don't Please don't go in there blind, deaf, and dumb and not know a thing that's going on. Like, oh, I want to get this done. Go ahead and piss me up. No, you, you should already know what you're walking into. The only thing that should be in the back of your mind is what it's going to feel like. But you should be already well educated before you go in there, before you go wherever you gonna go. God damn it. Do your research. Know what the fuck it is you finna get done. Okay? Some people even record themselves actually getting it done. So you can see their reactions. You can see, um, you know, what how they felt about it. You can see the prep. You can see everything from beginning to end. You can see how quick it is. Get on YouTube. YouTube was the main source that I went to to research when I decided I wanted to get mine done. So I would suggest anybody go to YouTube first and check these videos out because it's going to be people like me that are making videos that you know exactly what the experience is like. So search YouTube. And plus, the people who've actually got it done themselves, hey, we can give you the best advice. We got it done. We can let you know exactly what the hell is going to happen. Okay? Secondly, the most important thing you want to make sure that you do is research the piercers and the tattoo places. Wherever you're going to go to, research them babies. And let me tell you, Yelp is the truth. And um, social media is your best goddamn friend. When I tell you I use Yelp, the older I get, the more I understand just how God, Yelp is important. Yelp didn't help me find a lot of different places that I wouldn't have known about or places that I wouldn't know not, not to go to or to go to. But check out Yelp because I myself have done a review on the places that I've gone to and I did a review on the place where I went to. I actually went to Platinum Inc. I'm in Austin, Texas. I went to Platinum Inc. That's on Burnett Road and the guy that did my piercing's name is Darren Schumann. And let me tell you, I've had, he's done all of my piercings. He is the bomb. He makes you feel so comfortable. He's, he's good at what he's done. He's done, I've had my Monroe pierce. I've had my tongue. I've had my labret pierce. I've had my nipples, my, um, belly, which I still have my belly and I have my, um, VCH piercing as well. And Darren was quick. Literally all of my piercings were just like that, barely painful. I've never had a single piercing that was just like off the roof, made me go crazy, in pain, none of that. Darren is the shiz night. If you in Austin, you looking for a good piercer, Darren Schumann, Platinum Inc. Tell him I sent you. He is the bomb, okay? Research your piercers, research, and not only, again, not even the piercers themselves, research the damn place the tattoo place like i said where you're going to be going to make sure that motherfucker is clean make sure they ain't got no damn complaints against them about you know the shit not being clean or their equipment not being sterile or somebody fucking around and getting goddamn hepatitis or some shit like that a gangrene research that shit know what the fuck you going into research that shit okay the third thing that you want to make sure you know know your anatomy it amazes me now i've been in the medical field for 20 years 
it amazes me how many women are completely ignorant to their lady parts down there. Like, how can you, how do you not know what's going on down there? How do you not know what it, what it looks like down there? Well, how do you not know? Because again, when people hear the VCH piercing, people automatically think that you're getting your actual clitoris pierced. No. That's what I should have started off with. First and foremost, what you're getting pierced is you're actually getting the hood that is on top of your clitoris pierced. So when the barbell goes through, it is actually going through on the skin on top of the hood, not the actual clitoris itself. The barbell will rest against your clitoris, but it is actually going through the skin, which is the hood that is on top of the clitoris. If somebody has a piercing, or somebody gets a piercing and they pierce your actual clitoris, find you a Johnny Cochran because you can sue that motherfucker because they did it wrong. That's not what the hell they're supposed to do. That's not what we're going for. That's not what's supposed to goddamn happen. Know what the fuck is going on, okay? A good way, a really good way to know if you're a good candidate for the um, BCH piercing is what they call a Q-tip -Q test. That's basically where you take the tip of a Q-tip and you place it up under the hood of your clitoris. Now, again, it's just the skin. Lift the skin up and see if the head of the Q-tip actually goes over the, the, I'm sorry, if the skin, the hood actually goes over the tip of the Q-tip completely, then you're a good candidate for it. It's a lot of women that are not good candidates to get this done. Again, everybody's anatomy is built up different. You're supposed to know what you got going on. If you don't know Miss Kitty personally, Shut off this video and go and find yourself. Go get a mirror, girl. Get a mirror. Find it out. See what's going on down there, girl. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. But get the Q-tip test. Do that. If you're scared to do it, have your partner do it. If you're comfortable enough, have your friend or whatever do it. But just get the Q-tip. If your hood goes over the Q-tip completely, then you're a good candidate for it. That's how you're going to know what the hell is going on. Um, number four, know the different placement options, okay? Now, I'm going to put up a picture real quick about the different areas where you can get the, the piercing at. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm not doing all of that. We we was not going for all of that. All I got was the VCH, which is right on top. As you can see, there are many different kinds of piercings you can get. You can get the the Claudette, the Princess, the 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 Who What, the the Niecy Nim. You can get all kind of doggone piercings all over that that beautiful flower down there. But we just stuck with the VCH. We gonna keep it nice and breezy out this bitch. We ain't got time for all that extra shit. Uh -uh, mm -mm. And know the different barbells sizes and, and uh, not the sizes, but the different kinds of barbells that there are. There's the straight barbell, which is just straight like that. There's the curved barbell, which is the one that I have. There is um, the captive bell, uh, captive bead ring, which is basically it's uh, the, the full ring and it has a little dot at the bottom. And then there's the circular barbell, where it's just like the half, kind of looks like a little horseshoe. The, if you're going with the VCH, which is a vertical hood, it's going to be pierced um, up and down. And so the one that they're going to pierce it with is the curved barbell. And again, it's just going to go straight through the skin and it's going to rest up against your clitoris. Um, research the pros and the cons of each one, each different barbell to see which one it is that you want to get. Because again, you don't want to go into this mofo blind and not know what the hell is going on. Research the different barbells. Look at the pros and cons. See which one you think will work best for you. Don't go in that motherfucker blind because you're going to come out and you're going to be like, what the fuck did I just do? Listen to me now. Listen to me. Okay. And then the, depending on the size of how big, you know, your lips are down there, you may have to get a certain kind of barbell. You may have to get um, a smaller one. If it's too big, it might hang real, <laughs> might hang down low to the flow. So you just, you, depending on what your flower leaves look like down, look like down there, the barbell is going to have to go accordingly. It's going to have to adjust accordingly, okay? Um, next, the actual piercing process itself. Now, the actual piercing process, y'all got to excuse me. I'm hotter than a hooker in church right goddamn now. The, the, these lights, <laughs> they made me so goddamn hot. They, and, and not only that, <laughs> 
you know she got her sweet bitch yes um the actual piercing process is quick but it is a very sharp very distinct pain that you will have okay very distinct pain that you will have it it, it only lasts for about 10 15 seconds no i take the back five to ten seconds the pain that you feel is when they actually will put the needle through. When they put the needle through, they slip the ring through. From there, you don't feel a doggone thing else as far as pain goes. I was completely surprised. I thought it was going to be painful. I thought I was going to have to, you know, I was going to be walking funny. I was going to have to sleep funny. If anything, I slept with my legs like, you know, cocked open that night just because I was afraid to like, you know, close my legs and really sleep the way I wanted to sleep. But I did not have any pain. I walked out of there in no pain whatsoever. They give you a panty liner because, you know, you will have a little bit of bleeding afterwards. Um, but yeah, I felt just that on a scale of one to 10, the pain that you feel for me, I don't have a high pain tolerance, but it was about a seven maybe a seven and a half. Now, again, I've had my tongue pierced. I've had my labrette, my, my, my row. If anything, the piercings that hurt the most were the nipple piercings. Those hurt. But Miss Kitty, I mean, it, I was pleasantly surprised. Very surprised. It was over and done with. I mean, you're going to feel a little funny afterwards just because, you know, when your clothes or your panties rub up against it or the panty liner rubs up against it, it's going to feel like, oh, you're going to know something is there because you just have to get used to it. But after that, it is is done. I'm telling you, I was completely surprised. I was expecting way more and I got none of that at all. Okay. Um, but within a day or so, the little funny feeling that you have, it goes away and you have to remind yourself that it's there. If you wipe front to back, like I do, you're like, Oh shit. Okay. I caught it. It doesn't hurt or anything, but you have to, you forget that it's there because you don't feel it whatsoever. You do not feel it. Um, six, the healing process is so doggone important. Y'all listen to these people. When they tell you, wait four to six weeks before any sexual activity, because that's when it'll be completely healed, make sure that you're cleaning it. Listen, don't go out and, and don't even get no head. Don't do it. Let it long down there. Four to six weeks, and she gonna be good. That's going to allow it time. Now, you're going to have a little bit of bleeding for, like I said, the first, maybe second day. And it's like really, really slight bleeding. It's not a lot at all. Again, it's I was expecting so much more and I got none of that. It wasn't even half as bad as I thought it was going to be. But um, you'll bleed, like I said, for about a day or two. No activities. Just goddamn wait. Don't, don't do none, no, no. Leave it alone, four to six weeks, and make sure you are cleaning it twice a day with antibacterial soap. I use the dial, um, the, was that the orange or yellowish dial, the antibacterial soap. That's what I use. Washed it twice a day with that, and it was good to go, okay? Um, number seven, it will affect your sex life. Yes, it will. <laughs> Depending on different positions and things that you are in, yes, it will. It, 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 it'll do you some good. Trust me, it will. A lot of people think, or I've heard people say, if you go out running, that you, you can have an orgasm, or if you sit funny, like, no. Now, I will admit, sometimes, <laughs> if I, like, you know, if you're sitting down, how you just kind of plop down in the seat, sometimes, it'll kind of like, boom, and I'm like, oh, okay, Ew, okay, I see you, girl. <laughs> I like that, but it ain't no crazy, no. Nah. It, it ain't like uh, the exaggerated experience that a lot of people say that they have. No, it is none of that, okay? And lastly, number eight, take a friend with you. Don't go by yourself. All, take your homegirl with you. My sister went with me, my oldest sister. Shout out to my oldest sister, uh, Antoinette. She went with me. She recorded it. You want to have somebody that you're comfortable that's going to be seeing your ill nana down there anyway. So take somebody that, that you're comfortable with, with going with you and just have fun with it because it's. I've had it now for a year and a half and I love it. My husband loves it. And she's, 
Miss Kitty loves it, and she's going to be here for a while, okay? She's going to be here for a while. So, that is um, my Q&A for um, the VCH Pearson. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you've had it done, let me know what your experience is. If you're thinking about getting it done, let me know um, if this video helped to answer any questions that you have. Or if you have any other questions, let me know, and I will let you know. Um, again, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Um, Share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.